hello lovelies welcome back once again to my channel this is myself here it is always pleasant to have you here if today is your first time stopping by a warm aquaba to you do not hesitate to subscribe to this channel and be part of this family so today we are making a delicious dinner rose you will love this recipe this quick dinner rose recipe will help you make a soft and fluffy dinner rose in less than two hours so if you are interested in this video please stay with me till the end and let's make this together part of my subs kitchen you proud to be part of my subs kitchen For the list of ingredients, I have my yeast right here, I have my salt, milk, butter, I'm using unsalted butter, I have my flour, one egg, and my granulated sugar. So I will start off by pouring my melted butter into my milk, add my sugar to it, add my salt, and then mix it very well the sugar will help activate the yeast and then go ahead and pour in my yeast on top of it and then give it a quick stir yes we will cover it and set it aside until we see some foamy formed on top of this mixture now after 10 minutes we're gonna check and see how it's just look at this beautiful I have beaten my egg and add it into the milk and yeast mixture and then bring my flour right here and add it into my dry ingredients now I use my spatula to mix this all together until it is well mixed just look at this it looks good it looks soft at this point I must use my hand to knead this beautiful and soft dough if you haven't subscribed to this channel please do me a favor by subscribing and also hit on the notification bell so that anytime I upload a video you'll be first to know I will lightly flour my working surface and then bring my dough my on top kitchen. of it and then begin kneading it for about 15 minutes. If you are using your stand mixer, then you don't have to use your muzzles, but I prefer using my hand today. So I'll go ahead and knead this dough until we see a gluten formed in this beautiful dough so now I'm just hitting it on my working surface just like you say now you can see that our dough is not sticky anymore it has really really formed some gluten in here so I'll go ahead and split it into two and then begin stretching the other half just like a loaf and then we will cut it into our own preferred sizes so here we go this is how it is when you set it aside don't forget to cover it if not it will dry up so this is how we're gonna fold our dough just like you seen and then roll it in your palm to form a ball just like this let's try another one and see you just roll it all to the middle and then you use your palm to roll it to form a ball just like this here is my baking dish I've greased it with some butter and then cover it with some parchment paper so I'll go ahead and bring my dough onto the dish until it's well done and then I'll cover it with some for you and let this sit for about an hour you have to keep it in a warm place so i'll cover it with some towel and then set it in a warm place for about an hour and after an hour just look at this it has doubled in size and this is it 
everyone can make this recipe this is straightforward you don't have to prove it twice just look at this beautiful 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 rolls that we make it so this will go right into our oven at 180 degrees for about 15 to 20 minutes you have to be checking it up so after 20 minutes just look at this beautiful dinner rolls don't forget it's almost Christmas and you can serve this on table with your family and friends and they will love this recipe this is homemade and you know homemade is always the best it tastes amazing so now I have melted some butter I'll go ahead and brush it on top of our dinner rolls and just look at this it looks so beautiful and the taste and the smell in my kitchen is awesome if you haven't baked before you can still make this recipe because it is straightforward and so simple to make if you haven't subscribed to this channel please do me a favor by subscribing and also hit on the notification bell so that anytime i upload a video you will be first to know and to my returning subscribers god bless you i appreciate your support so so much just look at this beauty amazing so here the parchment paper helps a lot now i will just hold it and then bring it onto my wire rack and just look at this beauty amazing let's check one and see you can serve this dinner rolls with some jam chocolate spread some butter or what have you just look at this it looks cotton soft and fluffy from the inside it looks so delicious until I come your way next time with another beautiful recipe, bye for now. Smack like